Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's learn how to multiply two complex numbers together when they're in polar form. And we're going to do it in a general form so you can see what the formula will look like. So we have two complex numbers. Z1 equals R1 times cosine of theta1 plus I sine of theta1. And Z2 equals R2 times the cosine of theta2 plus I sine of theta2. So now we're going to multiply those two together and see what that looks like. So that means we're going to multiply r1 times r2. And we're going to multiply what's inside the parentheses together as well. And so just like with any product of two binomials, we're going to take the first term and multiply that each multiply times each of these two, and take the second term and multiply times each of those two as well. Let's see what we get. All right, this becomes r1 times r2 times the cosine of this times this. That gives us the cosine of theta1 times the cosine of theta2. This times this gives us plus i times the cosine of theta1 times the sine of theta2. Well, by this times this plus i times the sine of theta1 times the cosine of theta2. And this times this gives us plus, that would be i squared, times the sine of theta 1 times the sine of theta 2. And finish the brackets. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to combine these two, because those are two real parts. This becomes a minus 1. And then we'll combine these two and factor out an i. Let's see what that looks like then. See where we need to go after that. So r1 times r2 times. Here we have the cosine of theta1 times the cosine of theta2 minus the sine of theta1 times the sine of theta2. Now this becomes familiar because that kind of looks like the cosine of theta1 plus theta2. All right, and then plus i times, and then here we have the cosine of theta 1 times the sine of theta 2 plus the sine of theta 1 times the cosine of theta 2, and that's beginning to look familiar as well because that looks like the sine of theta 1 plus theta 2. So we can simplify that, and it looks as follows. This is equal to r1 times r2 times, so this can now be simplified to the cosine of theta1 plus theta2 plus i times, and I guess I don't need this parentheses, I can get rid of that. So i times, and this looks like the sine of theta1 plus theta2. So what then that looks like if we take a close look at this, if we're going to multiply two complex numbers together in polar form, we multiply the moduli together and we add the arguments together. So we simply add the angles. So we have theta 1 plus theta 2 for the cosine, theta 1 plus theta 2 for the sine. Everything else looks exactly the same. And we multiply the modular together. So therefore, all we have to do is multiply the magnitude, if you want to, the factorial magnitude of each of the complex numbers, multiply them together, and then simply add the angles together. And that's how we multiply two complex number in polar form. Now, what that tells me is that once you have a complex number in polar form, it's actually rather easy to multiply them together. It looks a lot easier than doing it when it's in standard form of a plus bi. So there's some advantage to using Complex, uh, complex numbers in polar form, when we start multiplying, dividing, maybe raising things to an exponent, you'll see some of the other rules that makes this quite easy when we put it into a polar form. So that's how it's done. So stay tuned and we'll show an example what this looks like with some real numbers.